What's up guys? Four wheeler doctor back again. Working on this XMR X3 2000 something model. 19 maybe? 18. I'm um, gonna put these uh, door openers on it. Um, this is a little kit I found online. Tech 208 and put out by um, uh, UTV parts or something like that. Um, but I'm gonna show you how to put them on there. These are Pretty clean little kit, looks like. You do have to drill one hole in here to, to make it all work out, but uh, I'm gonna run through the instructions and uh, or run through the install, show you what we what it's gonna look like. All right, and I'll cut the camera back on, I'll get everything um, out of the package and ready to bolt up. Right, guys, start off with you take these bolts out of the top here, got them out, then your bracket goes in here. Actually, that's the one for the other side. Your bracket goes in here like this and you stick your bolts back in. So I'm going to go ahead and bolt this bracket up to this top hinge. Alright guys, there's the bracket bolted up. Uh, just to make sure the door stays in the right place, you want to make sure you keep it closed while you tighten these bolts up. And I'm not sure what size socket you're supposed to use on this thing. But I got a 13 millimeter. And it just barely wouldn't fit down into that recess. So I ended up having to grind the end of it down just a hair so it would fit down in there enough to grab onto the, to the head of the bolt. Um, so the, I, don't, I don't know what size they plan on you using, but it's it's a pretty tight tolerance there. All right, so now the next thing to put on is this uh, the inner bracket. All right, the inner bracket goes right up, goes into that one bolt hole, and then you drill one hole here, um, to, and has a, end up having a bolt and a nut on it that also comes with the kit. Uh, it's a quarter inch drill bit to drill through there. Uh, they even send a, the bolt to go in here. Actually, is the same. Uh, Torx pattern is all the other bolts, so uh, it's it's pretty good kit. It's gonna look clean when it gets done. So let me get this uh, bolted up and drilled out, and I'll show you what the finished product looks like. All right, so just put the bolt through here, and you got a lock nut to go on the back side. So just tighten that down, and then uh, you're ready for your shock to go on. To deal with this little shock, it's got a little snap ring on here. Uh, you slide that thing off to get it to slide over the ball, and then put the snap ring back on to um, put the snap ring back on to make it clamp on there. So that's how it goes on. I'll cut the camera back on in a sec with the finished product. Let's put the finished product there. Got the little clips back in there. Uh, only thing I see is this thing slings open pretty hard. And the actual limiting strap is not holding it. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna try to drill this rivet out and maybe put a bolt in there to um, tighten that strap up just so it keeps a little tension on it because it's, it's snapping it back pretty hard. But um, that's pretty much it. Got to do the one on the other side and we'll be done with this install. All right, you guys check my other videos out on this X3. I got a bunch of stuff I'm doing to it. And uh, hit the like button, subscribe. Appreciate it.